Hi, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. And once again, outstanding guest. Whatever you're doing, stop. This is very special. We have Dr. Dallas, and that's Life of Dallas. She has two or three books here. She's going to tell you how to stay healthy and what to do. Welcome to the Ed Brown Show, Dr. Dallas. Thank you so much for having me, Mr. Brown. That, that outfit of yours is just fantastic. You know, catches everybody's eye, you know. But anyway, tell us about the life of Dallas. You know, the life of Dallas, you're in a terrible uh, place to talk about Dallas. You know, Redskins, boy, people get excited. You know, we actually have a lot of Redskin uh, Dallas Cowboy fans here in the Washington area. Uh, but um, it's not actually uh, life of Dallas. It's life by Dallas. And um, mm -hmm. that came to be um, a few years ago. I actually changed the name of the company to encompass something that I'm working on. And mm -hmm. that's that I've trademarked. I've actually coined the big three to be fighting obesity, heart disease, and diabetes, especially wow. in the African-American community. And so I kind of say, people say, well, how do you go about beating diabetes, obesity, and heart disease? And I always say, the first thing you have to do is change your lifestyle. And what lifestyle would that be? And I tend to advocate a pretty healthy lifestyle, I think. And that is one that um, incorporates a good diet, um, trying to get uh, adequate amount of rest, and the stress is a, is a huge factor. A lot of times we wow. pay a lot of attention to the diet and exercise, but um, really, you can have a great <laughs> diet and you can do all of the physical activity in the world, but your stress levels will take you out of here quicker than any sedentary lifestyle or bad diet. And so we want to make sure that we actually understand what balancing the mind, the body, and the spirit actually means. We say that, it's a wonderful cliche, but in actuality, the body needs to be in harmony. When you look at health and disease, it's all predicated on how the body is balanced out, you know? Everything that we do, um, the colors that are surrounding us, the foods that we eat, the music, the sounds that uh, we, we encompass every day, Vibrations are dealing with that. Everything is, is, is operating off of a magnetic field. And if those vibratory effects are either too loud or too low, then the body is going to be out of sync. And when the body becomes out of sync, then the body is no longer in harmony. If the body is, in, is not in harmony, then you have a dis-ease of the body and then that's where we actually get disease that, from. Is that where stress comes in? Stress is looked at in different ways. People say stress, but they're different yeah. types of stresses. And right. so when you're not eating the right foods, then that creates a nutritional stress on the body. You have mechanical stresses when the body is actually doing too much mm -hmm. in terms of labor. And you, you have emotional pains. stresses. <laughs> yes. So it's different types of stresses that can come upon the body, and it's incumbent upon us to understand what each of those are. And, and, and what it means. Um, we could talk about we simply don't have enough time to cover all of the logistical aspects of what is disease and what is health. And I think we hear quite a bit of different things on the news every day. Every magazine that you pick up, someone's talking about health and fitness. Somebody's talking about well movement. The Obama administration is talking about the Let's Move campaign. But what does it all mean? And how does one implement that in their lives? And how do you get started? And so that's what I'm on a personal crusade to do, is to go out and to disseminate as much accurate accurate being the operative word, information as possible so that people can understand how we got to where we are mm -hmm. and how to get ourselves out of it. And a part of where we are, Mr. Brown, I was just in awe when I heard the statistics from the, the last formal, even though it seems like a long time ago, mm -hmm. it was the actual, the last formal study that was done and that was by the Secretary Task Force on black health. How many years and was that? That was in 1989 89. that it was conducted. It wasn't published until mm -hmm. 1991. And in those results, there was a statistic given that when I speak it, 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 it some people are shuddered by it. Other people are not even phased by it. And, 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 and I'd love to, to see your reaction here. Mm -hmm. But it said that 10,000 African Americans were dying of cancer weekly. Mm -hmm. Now... If that's not something that yes. makes you say, right. wow, really, yes. you know, and what's interesting is that a lot of times when I, I, I say that to African Americans, it doesn't really invoke a reaction. When I say that to people that are non-black, they 
you know, they yeah, gasp almost. Sure. Right. And, and of course, 10, ca cancer is something that affects yeah. the entire world. Right. But in our community, and since this, uh, this, this study was done, um, in various communities, we see that people are progressing. Things are getting better. Yes. You know, statistics are going down in heart disease and obesity. But not in the African-American community. Mm -hmm. Our numbers are increasing. And that's, that's pretty sad because we have become a more affluent community mm, right and sometimes that can contribute to some of the things and the problems that we have you know we're eating out more so whenever we're eating out typically we're getting devitalized foods and when we put devitalized foods into our system that's not going to help us but let's get back to that statistic out of 10,000 African Americans that die of cancer statistics also show that 70 percent of those are preventable now that's dealing with some of those environmental conditions that i talked about in terms of stress the right, emotional stress. stress and and the radioactive economic things, stress things. definitely mm -hmm. um but 30 percent of the 70 percent of preventable um, deaths mm -hmm. are attributed to diet and nutrition mm -hmm. so what that means is that 3,000 people are dying each week simply because of what they're putting into their systems in terms of their diet. Now that's pretty sad. That's yeah. 3,000 deaths a week. That's 12,000 a month. That's too many. Mm -hmm. We'll never lose that many people to HIV. We'll never lose mm -hmm. that many people to an earthquake or uh, mm -hmm. some other type of uh, so natural event. So you said event. nutrition is the answer to nutrition that? Nutrition is the answer to everything. Nutrition mm -hmm. is what keeps us alive. When we talk about organic and inorganic, and, and yes, I don't want to get, get too that. technical, yeah. <laughs> but if I can just take five minutes to focus right. on that, I think that will kind of encapsulate it so that you can get to the point where you can understand the tie-in between how you can actually cure cancer, heal cancer, through prevent diet. it through the understanding of how the body works mm -hmm. and who we are and what we are. And when you look at uh, today, people are talking about organic, that's more geared towards the organic aspects um, with growing processes. But when you look in Webster's Dictionary, and it's always easier to define the opposite of something, so let's look at inorganic. When you look at inorganic matter, it is matter that is not subjected to or void of organization. So it means that it doesn't come from organized matter, which means right. that it does not come from something that has living organs or organisms in it. So it cannot come from a plant or an mm. animal. So when you look at organic matter, you're looking at something that has mm. to come from something that has or mm. organs or consists of organs, and in fact is an organism, a living organism. So organic matter, the end state, when, it's, when, when you take organic uh, matter, the end state of combustion is carbon dioxide. Yes. No one can live or life cannot be sustained off of carbon mm. dioxide. However, the plant can take in carbon dioxide and it utilizes the carbon for its structure right. and then it allows an abundant amount of mm. oxygen to go freely into the universe, into the universe where it mixes with nitrogen. Yeah. Well, what happens when you get involved with pesticides. I don't want to talk about if we can just stay if we can yes. just stay focused on but inorganic that affects, and organic but matter. But that that affects your organic and inorganic matter. Pesticides. Pesticides is a part of what we're talking about. Pesticides mm. would be something that is what is inorganic. But mm -hmm. if individuals right. can understand the concept mm -hmm. behind it's not the pesticides that are killing or are creating mm. the deaths like the foods that we're eating that are mm -hmm. just as bad as well now that you say that would you eat pesticides? Would you freely open up a can of pesticides no, and eat them? No, but, but it's, that is what we do when we don't understand the difference between organic matter and inorganic mm -hmm, matter. Right. And most of the food sources that we're eating, most of the things that come out of cans, anything that has preservatives and additives right. in it, do not meet the definition that I just gave of mm -hmm. organic, which mm -hmm. becomes inorganic, so mm -hmm. it may as well be eating mm -hmm. that because the body cannot deal with that. You know, and I can go on in terms of examples of how inorganic matter, and that would come from our preservatives and our additives, and just the processes in which we cook our foods that literally kill the foods. So you look at that and you say, what does that do to the body? It's, it's, it, it kills the body, it kills the living organism, you know, whereas organic things sustain the life. And it's not to, to, to relegate cancer or anything else to something that's minimal, but it's just to say that 
when you feed something that is dying, or mm -hmm. you can bring it back to life if you put life into it. You will never bring anything back to life or sustain its life if it is not sustainable itself. Mm -hmm. uh, that plant is a perfect example. Mm -hmm. That's a plastic plant. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's not a living plant. It's not an organic plant. Right. And so it's nothing that I can do to that. I can put uh, 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 some organic kale mm -hmm. up against its petals and it's simply not going to chew it mm -hmm. because the two are not right. compatible. They're diametrically opposed. Right. However, I can take a plant that looks like that plant and, and literally it's almost to death. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then if I were to expose it to natural sunlight or artificial right. sunlight, if I were to feed it nutrients and put water into it, it would come back to life. And that is what we have to do, and that's what we have when we have cancer or any other type of disease. It's the cellular structure, that thing that keeps us moving and vibrating and alive, has just been uh, just faltered. And then when we can feed it the proper nutrients, which have to come from organic matter, mm -hmm. which have to come from the herbs, the vegetable kingdom, then we can bring it back to life. We can have it have hope again. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. I, I take plants in the form of human beings, human beings that have right. been neglected. <laughs> you right. know, you go uh -huh. out for vacation and you didn't have anybody water or feed your plants. And so you do the same thing right. with your body and then you come to Dr. Dallas and we mm -hmm. say, okay, let's take a look mm -hmm. and see, you know, mm -hmm. which petals here and, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and of course, there are thousands, there are more than 3,000 remedies mm -hmm. in the herbal well, kingdom for cancer. Well, give us an example of the system that you utilize has been very successful. The one that has probably been most successful with my clients that have HIV and are in second, third stage cancer and simply don't want to continue on the medications mm -hmm. is a formula that I created about four years ago. Um, and I use that term loosely because, you know, it's just herbs that I have gotten that have been around since, you know, 10,000 years ago. Actually, today, in today's news, they're saying that the new superfood mm -hmm. are, are, is anything that comes from the sea, sea vegetables. And, mm -hmm. you know, that has been well, around when since When people of think time. of uh, superfoods and sea vegetables, they think of... Uh, uh, it has organic matter <laughs> in it. It has all of the biochemical they elements think of that the body needs. Now, seafood, seafood, not seafood in terms of the, the animals moving around in the sea. Seaweed. Or sea vegetables. What about seaweed? Seaweed, absolutely. That falls into that category. Why does it fall into that category? Because it's an aquatic saline plant that has all of the iodine. Iodine keeps mm. us moving and living, you mm -hmm. know. Sure. We think about iodine, that it controls the thyroid, and without the thyroid functioning, yeah. metabolism is out the window. And that's more importantly, it controls the brain structure. Right. Over, overactive thyroid, a lot of people get it. Overactive thyroid is simply yes. a body that is deficient in iodine. Mm -hmm. When you look at where we are today, the, the, the anger and the meanness of people and, and just the, the ready to go to war, <laughs> the that, meanness that's, of that's, people. That's, that's a lack of iodine in the body. <laughs> Is that right? You take a violent child and make sure that they can get powdered sheet kelp. Dead. So when someone will smack you, that means that they didn't get enough iodine. A lot of times it's <laughs> iodine or manganese. Uh, or manganese. Mm -hmm. And, and uh -huh. we laugh at things like that, but mm -hmm. the, the, and the fact of the matter is, is that every single organ in your body need some type of nutrient. Oh, That's nutrients. why nutrition right. is the key. Exactly. And, and, and it's like your automobile. You, you have a catalytic converter, you have uh, spark plugs. All of those items mm -hmm. need to be functioning in order for your vehicle to move from A to B. Well, well, how can a person repair that? Can they go to the drugs, pharmaceutical, go and get the iodine you're talking about or the nutrients that their body needs? When they have, you, you know, for yourself, they have uh, A, B, C, now, all Mr. kinds Brown, of items. You must be playing the devil's advocate here because that's what <laughs> we just tried to diffuse a few moments ago. We tried to say, okay, audience, right. are you listening? Because there is a difference here between yeah, I know. organic I, I, matter I, right. and inorganic right. matter. Right. And uh, no, we don't go to the pharmaceutical industry. Yeah, well, we go to our backyard, first right. of all. <laughs> we go to our local farmer's market, and uh, we can get those things that we need. Uh, but but they, they, uh, what you're talking about now, the system is, is selling uh, other things as far as nutrition is concerned. They're selling the nutrition. The, Devitalized uh, foods. Right. But, but really, uh, the economics of it and the industries that are involved, they're not... The people that could really change and do things like it, they don't do that. Why aren't there more uh, stores, organic stores, than the regular stores? 
because first of all, when we when we were speaking of organic a moment ago, and I want to be very clear on this, you mm -hmm. know, when I was on radio, I used to always say, unless you're growing your foods in the arid soils of Africa, mm -hmm. you know, what is really organic in this country? Because we had thunderous rains the other night, right. and you had one uh, 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 farming. Uh, company or, or, or vicinity that's growing organic products and you have the one that's adjacent to it that's not growing organic and then when it rains you know all the rainfall goes off together um, I think that if you can afford organic foods that's a great thing um, if you wash your fruits and vegetables and lemons lemons will kill most pesticide residue. is that right but what is more important Lem is that wash you, it in lemons huh yes oh, with lemon is that? juice because lemons the, the, the yeah. nutrients that are found in lemons are, are, are cleansers in my book, uh, Fitness ABCs by well, Dallas. Well, tell us about uh, that. Uh, Fitness ABCs by Dallas is an easy read. It takes about um, an hour and 15 minutes to go through the book. I have divided it into three parts, nutrition, fitness, and meditation. Again, getting the mind, the body, mm -hmm. and the spirit um, balanced. And what it is, is it's a, it's a compilation of, of answers to hundreds and hundreds of questions that I got from a variety of people from mm. all different backgrounds and, right. and ethnicities. And they all wanted to know some of the same things. You know, mm. what are the best exercises to get mm. my stomach flat? What are mm. the best foods to get my stomach flat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what are right. the best meditations to do for this? Well, a lot of people want to know that was the best thing to get the stomach flat. There's <laughs> a lot of us out here what they call pot bellies. <laughs> Well, the best thing to do is to do more crunching than munching. Um, <laughs> more crunching and, than munching. But actually, if you go back to that organic matter that I talked about and, mm -hmm. and getting your foods, making sure that you incorporate herbs from the kingdom, the ideal diet actually consists of a diet that is 80% alkaline and 20% acid. Mm -hmm. And that would be most fruits and vegetables fall into the mm -hmm. alkaline category and uh, most proteins and starches fall into the acid category. And if you could stay on getting six vegetables and two fruits to get that 80%, mm -hmm. that would pretty much mm. certify Well, you know, some people fool themselves by saying, well, I don't have a veggie burger. Uh, <laughs> no, we don't want to talk about those people that are fooling themselves. But, but for I'm that just individual saying, that is really curious about right. getting there, but they, that's they, what they, they say, well, do. you know, I don't eat meat. I don't get a, 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 a veggie burger. Or a veg uh, how, how, do you, how do you explain that to an individual? Of what they're doing. Uh, there's uh, the, the getting a veggie burger would be 100% better than eating a beef burger or beef right. chicken or right. anything. Rationalization. So, mm -hmm. Rationalization. A lot of times uh, seeing is believing. Uh -huh. you, I have clients that are come with me to lectures and workshops that I do all the time and they stand up and they talk mm. about the fact that, you know, three months ago they were mm. 45 pounds heavier. They started implementing some of the techniques mm. that I've taught them about mm. how to prepare fresh juices every day. Mm -hmm. The herbs, you take an herb like fennel, fennel seed right. will gear you towards the gaunt look versus the obese look. There are right. certain herbs that simply have, all you're looking for are mm -hmm. sulfates. Mm -hmm. The sulfates break mm -hmm. up the fatty acids and allow carbon dioxide to leave well, the body. But have you found that most people are not uh, familiar and aware with the various herbs? Uh... I do, Mr. Brown, and that's one of the things that we want to do in the media is that mm -hmm. a lot of times we focus so much on all the things that are wrong. Yeah. And, and people have taken some wrong paths and they've mm -hmm. gotten a lot of bad information. So mm -hmm. it becomes incumbent upon us to start taking valuable time mm -hmm. and giving people good information and right. going back to the basics. So right. instead of answering questions that are all the way out mm -hmm. in the universe in place, mm -hmm. Get them started on building blocks. You know, my background is civil engineering. I have a degree in mm. architecture and one in civil engineering. Mm. Both of those professions, we have to start at the basics. The foundation mm. right. is the key. Mm. And so getting people, this book calculus. and some other things, <laughs> uh, but calculus is not as <laughs> fundamental as math, uh, math. addition and subtraction. Right. <laughs> and when it comes to the human body, it's, mm. it's, it's that your nutrients are either deficient or excessive. Very seldom are people excessive in nutrients. Right. So it's because, what nutrients that's, are that's they be, missing? Well, but that's because the they're not aware of it, don't you think? The reason oh, that they're not aware, aware of it is because no one has ever taught them. Exactly. So well, how do you do that? You're doing we, that's that. That's what we're trying to do now. Okay, tell us about this second book the basic here. You, things. The second book. The second book, it doesn't focus on the nutrition or mm -hmm. that health. This You're talking about on stress. The spiritual the, health. The, the, mm -hmm. uh, that's the way you get rid of that stress. 
What's that? Yeah, well, would the second book? The there? second book, the spiritual book, the spiritual is, book. Um, you know, 316. It's a book that I wrote. It took me two years to compile the information. And, you know, um, earlier when we talked about iodine, and iodine helps to just kind of keep that mm -hmm. brain working, mm -hmm. a lot of times people will look at the book and they'll say, oh, do you know John 316? Mm -hmm. And it's just, a, it, there's, no, there's nothing on here that says, do you know John 316? <laughs> yeah. This is, do you know 316? And what mm -hmm. it is, is it's a, a concise discussion of all of the 316 verses throughout the entire Holy Bible. Mm -hmm. And it kind of tells a complete story. Out of the 66 books in the Bible, there are 16 that do not have a third chapter and a 16th verse. Um, so I put that together and it's, it's, it's a very interesting story. And I believe that if you read it in its entirety, again, um, it's kind of written off of the same format that I did Fitness ABC so that, you know, it's easy on the eyes. It's an easy read. You can get through it without having to put it away for a couple of months. And it really calms the spirit and it encourages you and it gives you hope when you're feeling hopeless. And um, it's a wonderful gift from the Holy Spirit. Sometimes I read it today and I know that it's nothing that I did in my mm. own right. Um, and I believe that it was able to come to fruition. Um, mm -hmm. Many people say, wow, you know, people have been in ministry for years and no one's ever thought of that concept. Mm -hmm. um, I attribute it to my diet. Um, that my brain is, is functioning. Uh, when you're eating cabbage and drinking cabbage juice, you're putting so much sulfur into your brain, which just literally takes your brain to another level. Uh, and I'm alert and I'm energetic, and all of that is because I try to maintain a diet that's 60% raw. Mm -hmm. So uh, out of those so that's the formula. fruits and vegetables. The formula, formula, there are five keys to oh. the successful formula. That okay. would be eating Tell foods that are pure, whole, and natural. That would be maintaining a diet that's 80% alkaline and 20% acid. And it would also be a diet that is 60% raw. Now, though my diet is 90, 95% raw, 60%. 95% raw? Pretty much. I, I, I eat Dallas popcorn, which we mm -hmm. can talk about in a well, moment. Well, tell us about that. Mm -hmm. That Dallas popcorn. <laughs> we had a long, Let me get I'm you a to, popcorn Let me just get eater. you to those last two, two key points <laughs> Two there. points. And then tell us about that. So you brought those one of popcorn. those key points is very important. And <laughs> okay. that fifth key point would be no overeating. No overeating. No. Okay, so, and on that. But, when uh, it's good, it's tough to say don't overeat. That's because you haven't fed your body <laughs> the things that the brain needs. When you're feeding your body pickles and ice cream, the brain is not going to, 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 to do anything rational. Well, okay? the average person get a, bo a bowl of popcorn and then look at two football games. Now, you know Dallas <laughs> popcorn is, will feed your brain because it's air popped for one. Um, I consider myself to be an Eastern doctor. So one thing is that Eastern and Western doctors rarely agree on anything. But the one thing that we agree on is that you must have dietary fiber in your body in order to clean yes. your system out. Yes. Personally, I believe that you are as healthy as your colon is. Mm -hmm. And so popcorn is always on that list. Right. However, most popcorn is either kettle cooked mm -hmm. or you have to heat the kernels to extreme temperatures to get them to pop. Right. And in that process, you lose most of the dietary fiber. When it's air popped, it's left intact. Mm -hmm. So Dallas popcorn, available at Whole Foods and all of your health food stores locally here, mm -hmm. is air popped. And then we spray it with an olive oil, which has good oh, fats. Oh, olive heart. oil. There you are. Yeah. Very good. Right. Not Midwest. butter. Not no. butter, olive, olive oil. oil. And when you mix right. olive oil. With that's the, the key. That's, that's, that's huge. Mm -hmm. Olive oil is one of the superfoods. Right. And so exactly. we have olive oil on Dallas popcorn. And we use it, just a small amount of it, in order to adhere a variety of herbs. Herbs, herbs, organic herbs, right. you know, that come from living organisms uh -huh. um, onto it. And we have uh, four different flavors. Our number one flavor is garlic overdose. There are excellent garlic. medicinal properties associated with mm -hmm. garlic. Um, that's our top seller. Yeah, well, that, that's what I was thinking. Now, garlic, uh, uh, that's like a seasoning just for everything. You can put it on meat. You put it we use it as, as a condiment, but it is probably one of the most virtuous herbs in the kingdom. It is one of the uh, main herbs that is used if you press fresh garlic and have someone drink. I have a lot of my clients that have cancer. Mm -hmm. I start them out on uh, eight ounces of fresh garlic juice 
um, during the first five or six days of our herbal therapy, mm -hmm. and it brings their body into a state of ease and comfort that they had not experienced mm -hmm. since um, mm -hmm. becoming sick. Well, well how, how do you get a person to adapt to that, like the herbs and the garlic and things? Tell them that uh, if they do this, they won't have to die in the mm -hmm. three months that the doctor said they were going to die, and mm -hmm. usually that's a pretty good incentive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other people that aren't quite there, mm -hmm. that are not looking at death, you bring in others to give their testimonies. Um, a lot of times, Mr. Brown, um, we talk about role models and we talk mm -hmm. about doing things. You know, my dad always said, you're going to do as I tell you to do. <laughs> not yeah, I've heard that, as, I've heard as that I, before, as too. As I do. <laughs> and, but unfortunately, in the health community, a lot of times you go out and people are like, wow, you know, your skin looks a certain way. How can mm -hmm. I get my skin like that? And then you can open the door mm -hmm. to say, well, you know, I eat this, I drink this, and things like that. You know, how do you get that much energy? You've been going mm -hmm. for 12 hours or whatever. Or mm -hmm. how did you write two books in, in, in less than a year? You know, just mm -hmm. things like that. And you, mm -hmm. you start to talk, well, I believe that my diet has a lot to do with it. And I exercise so every day. So diet is, is the key. Nutrition is the key. Nutrition is your, the key. Your, your health begins and ends mm -hmm. in your kitchen. Right. That is the most valuable Regardless of how much your exercise house. you do. <laughs> exercise is, is important. I always tell people to have a long life. Mm -hmm. You've got to keep your legs active. Uh -huh. You know, right. uh, you've got to keep your legs right. active. But you can't keep your legs active if you're not putting the nutrients into the legs to make the legs be active. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Right. So it's right. kind of that thing mm -hmm. where, you know, mm -hmm. you, you can't do one without the other. It's okay. the car, the vehicle that has four wheels. You take one off and you're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. So they kind of work together. And they All really right, did. that, they that really sounds did. so great. You have to come back on and, and we tell have to us come back more on, so on, we can on get about this subject because it's, it's something that's really needed. It and is. just like you say, that that we uh, in the media, well, I call it program manager. It's our fault because what we're it's not doing is doing the job of letting the people know what you're talking about. A more subject matter on diet and dealing with the right herbs. And yes. People are really ignorant of herbs. I'll mm -hmm. tell you, they when they go to the store, herbs is not one of the things. It's you know? not, it's not. Okay. That's a profound statement. I want to thank you yeah. for being on the show. Oh, thank and you, you for having me. have to come me. back. What do we have to do? We have to get into this. I want to mm -hmm. change that thing with well, this media. We're going to talk about herbs I mean, and talk about the healing the diets nature. and things of that nature mm -hmm. that you all out there need. I know some of the things, we started with popcorn. Goes right away home. I told him, that's my favorite popcorn. So I'll tell you what, you take it easy and make sure you check your diet, check your herbs, check everything. All right? This has been Ed Brown. See you next time.